Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is April 1st, which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around and find out what makes this month extra special, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Even though it is April Fool's Day, I am definitely not fooling when I say I love the new sheet load of cards. Here in just a little bit, we'll take a look at this month's sketch, and then we'll talk about the supplies I used for my first set, and I'll show those to you. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how you can download the printable for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Now today's video is just kind of a project share. Tomorrow I will be back to show you how I created the first set. Also tomorrow, my team of collaborators will be joining me with their first sets. I have collaborators here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Everybody is linked in that description box below if you want to go ahead and subscribe and follow if you don't already. If you're new to my sheet load of cards concept, what I do each month is stop by with a free two page printable that has a new sketch, a supply list, and cutting guides to help you get the most out of your cardstock and pattern paper and make a sheet load of cards. Usually a sheet load is anywhere between 6 and 12 cards. Are you ready to see this month's sketch? Now normally I would show you page 1 so you could see the sketch. But before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about where I got the idea for this month's sketch. I wanted to do a mini slimline that was folded on the short edge. But I don't know about you, but I do not have cardstock that is card weight base that is 12 to 13 inches, depending on what you consider a mini slimline. For myself, a finished mini slimline is six and a quarter by three and a quarter. Well, one of my most popular past sheet load of cards, it's kind of a fun fold where the front of the card does not fold all the way over. So for this month, I decided to put a mini slimline and that fun fold together for the new sketch. So here's a look at the sketch I designed, keeping those two things in mind. You do have the fold on the short edge that's three and a quarter inches tall, but the background of the card itself is still a mini slimline size. Now, if you look closely at the sketch, you'll notice some of the pattern paper is on the inside of the card and the other pieces on the front with the sentiment portion hanging over. Now, if you haven't downloaded the other A2 sheet load that looks like this, I will link that in the description box below for you to check out. Another fun part of today's card is we are once again using 6x6 six six paper. I know many of you are enjoying these cards using that paper size. And guess what? You do not have a scrap left over from that 6x6 six six after you make today's cards. Also on page one of the printable are the hashtags that I would love for you to use if you share cards here on YouTube or over on Instagram. And then down at the bottom, I give you the supplies you need, how many you're going to yield, and if you only want to make one card and not a whole sheet load, I do give you single card dimensions. Also, like normal, I do have some alternative ways to use the sketch. This month, if you follow the supply list and the cutting guides, you will yield eight total cards. And that is from just four six by six pattern papers and five pieces of solid cardstock. Now those cardstocks will be your card base as well as your matting. On page two are the cutting guides. I show you exactly how to cut your four pieces of six by six pattern paper which for myself, you'll see later, I chose two pairs that matched, but you could always choose two different pairs as well. 
On the bottom, you'll notice here that from CS1, you're going to be cutting your card bases and you'll be cutting the pieces for your sentiment. There is a line here that you need to score and fold on, and I tell you down here that you will score it at six and a quarter inches from the right. So just six and a quarter, and then that would be the inside or the background of your card. Now, CS2 this month, once again, this is a great place to use scraps if you have them. You definitely do not need a full sheet. A couple other things to note on the back are my Instagram handle. If you are over there and don't follow me, I would love for you to consider doing that. And then here at the bottom, I just want to give a special thank you and shout out to my channel members. Your support each month helps me creating here on YouTube and keep Sheetload free for all. Thank you so much for your monthly support. Now, if you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in that description box below. Now that we've seen this month's printable, let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I use for my cards. Here is a look at the main items that I used to create my first set using the April 2022 sheet load of cards. Over here on the left, I chose some papers from the Spring Is Here paper pad from Not Too Shabby. I did go ahead and just choose two sets of the same matching patterns, but you could definitely change that. For my focal points, I'll be using the Abstract Botanical stamp set that I created in collaboration with Not Too Shabby. This was originally a bundle available for pre-order. You can no longer buy the bundle with the stencil, but there are some stamp sets left. One thing that you could add on to the bundle, or even now just the stamp set, is an exclusive class that comes with free coordinating cut files for the botanicals in the stamp set. So today I will be using the template I created for this image here, as well as I went ahead and die cut eight pieces that I will stamp this onto. If you do want to check out this stamp set or the class with the free cut files, I will have both linked in that description box below. For my inks, I got out two from Gina K Designs that match the pattern papers, and I ended up using the Wild Lilac for both the botanicals and my sentiments. Are you ready to see that first set of cards? I hope you enjoyed that little peek at the first set of cards using the April 2022 sheet load of cards. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. As always, we just go on the honor system here. I do not make you contact me with any proof that you're a subscriber or sign up for an email list. Please just make sure before you click on the link, which I will tell you where you can find it here in just a second, that you have already clicked on that subscribe button below. It's quick, it's free, and it's easy. You will find this month's PDF link at the very, very bottom of my description box below. You can open it and use it just on screen, or you can download it to your device and print it out to use like I have. Don't forget, if you are going to create with it, I would love for you to use those two hashtags I have at the top. And until my next video, which is tomorrow's process video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.